Hello, and welcome to this video demonstrating how to securely access Go Global applications when not on the corporate network. Go Global from Graphon provides reliable, secure, low cost multi user access to Windows applications from any location, device, or operating system. Hi, I'm Andy Leonard, and in this video, I want to show you how to access your Go Global host externally from a public location. So, a lot of the time, you know, your Go Global host may be located in a corporate location somewhere, and all you want to do is access it from home or, or somewhere else. So to do this, there are a lot of different steps and I'm going to walk you through them one by one. So the first thing I want to do is just add an application just to show you how to do this. So the first thing we need to do is open up the Go Global Admin Console. And then by default, you can see it opens up the Applications tab. So to add an application, we just click on Add. And then from here, we just click on Browse. And by default, it automatically takes you to the start menu programs. So these are all the programs that are accessible and installed on my Go Global host. So for this demo, we're just going to add a simple application. So if I go to Windows Accessories, then I can just open WordPad and click on Open. Once this is done, you just click on OK. Once you publish the app, we can now share this app for your users inside your organization. So as long as on the same network, then we can um, share this link by clicking the application here, then clicking Get Link. Now in GoGlobal 6.2, we now have a built-in web server. So there's no need to install IIS or Apache on your server itself. It's built into the product. And the web server runs on the same port that GoGlobal runs on. So by default, GoGlobal runs on port 491, which is used for the RxP protocol. This is also going to be now used for the web server part of GoGlobal. So as you can see, the web server address here is my FQDNM name of my GoGlobal host. So ggw2019.graphon.local. And then it's going to show you the port after the .local. Then we can change it if we want to from HTTP to HTTPS. So if we tick the box for HTTPS, you can now see the link has changed. And we also have run application outside the browser. So this is ticked by default. So this will run Go Global in loose mode. So all the applications will run outside the browser. If you want it to run inside the browser, so it'll be in embedded mode, you just untick this box. And once you've unticked the box, you can now see embedded equals true. So if you had a web server, which could be IS or Apache, and you wanted to use that server to host the web files for Go Global, then you would need to change the web server address to be the address of your web server. So whatever your web server was called, you would replace this line here with the web server address. Then in the host address, you would replace it with the address of this system here without the port 491. And then if you're using a different virtual directory. So by default, Go Global installs a virtual directory called Go Global. But if you had an IS server which had a different virtual directory, then you could put the name of it in here in the virtual directory field. So basically, at this point, so if I now do copy, the link you send to the users would let them be able to connect to this host on the local network. But what I want to show you today in this video is I want to show you how to do some port forwarding in your router so then we can use a public IP address to access this system anywhere in the world. So again, you could be in a home or in an internet cafe or something and also access this system. So the next thing I want to show you is accessing the router and doing some port forwarding. So I've logged on to my router. My router is a Sky Hub and there's many different routers out there but most of them are roughly the same. So for the Sky router, all I click on is security at the top here. Once I click on security, I then click on service. From here, I just need to add a new service. So I click on add service. And it's asked me the name of the service. So I'm gonna call it Go Global. So the starting port is 491 and the finish port is the same. So once I've done this, I then click on apply. So now you can see in my service table, I have one for Go Global. So the next thing I need to do is click on my firewall rules. 
And then from here, I just need to add an inbound service. So to do this, I click on add, I do the drop down on service, and I select the service I just created in the last screen, which is at the bottom here, go global. Once I've done this, I just then need to put the destination IP address of my Go Global host. I mainly use an IPv4, but if you use an IPv6, for the Sky Router, you would also need to add this here as well. But once I've done this, I just click on Apply. And as you can see now, you know I have an inbound service to allow any traffic coming in on port 491. So in this instance, it's web traffic and RXP traffic and it's forwarded directly to my Go Global host server, which is the IP address here. Once you've forwarded the port in your router, you now need to find out what your public IP address is. So the best way to do this is to open up a browser on the Go Global host or on a computer in the same network and go to whatsmyip.org. Once you've done this, you now will see your public IP address at the top here. So the best way to do it is just to copy it and then paste it in the web server address here. So you're replacing the local FQDNN name of the server with the public IP address. Once you paste it in, you just need to add 491 on the end of it. So it looks like this. So once you've done that, you can now see that the link down the bottom here has changed. So it's now connecting to your public IP address on port 491, which is the web port. Then it's going to the app in this instance which is WordPad. So now we click on copy and as you can see it says the link has been copied to the clipboard. You can now paste it into an email or instant message and share it with the users. So now you need to just press on OK. So I now pasted that link into an email and I've sent myself an email as you can see here on the screen. So if I was an end user you know I'd get this email from my administrator and then I would click on this link. So now my default browser opens. So in this case, it's Microsoft Edge. And it's asking me to download the Go Global App Controller. So I click on Download here. And as you can see, once it's downloaded, on the bottom left-hand corner here, it now says Open File. So we click on Open File. Then it runs through the installer. Once the installer is finished, it then will come up with this message. This site is trying to open App Controller you just click on open. So now I just need to enter my Windows credentials to log into my Go Global host. Once I've entered these, I just click on sign in. As you can see, WordPad is now opened automatically and now I can use this publish application in Go Global. Thank you for watching this video demo demonstrating how to securely access Go Global applications when not on the corporate network. For more information about Go Global or to download the 30-day free trial, visit us www.graphon.com.